morning guys happy saturday i hope you're all having an amazing start to your day end of your day whenever you are watching this i thought that i would start a weekly vlog it has been the longest time since i've done this but now that my show is over which i promise you i will do a debrief probably tomorrow it is saturday today so i'll do a debrief on that on sunday i thought that i'd start a weekly vlog because now that show's over, things have died down a little. Please excuse the tan on my arms and my body. It is coming off terribly. That's a whole other story. But I thought that I would do, again, for the third time, a weekly vlog because things have died down and I can actually whip out the camera and do normal life things. And I feel like what was putting me off vlogging is because I didn't have any specific things on over a couple of days for it to be interesting for you guys. And I just thought, why keep pushing it off and not doing a vlog? I think what I'm just going to do is keep it really raw and natural. And if it's an all over the place vlog, then that's what it is. I don't care. I'd rather get out content for you guys than not at all. So follow me along for the week. I don't have anything crazy planned except for a couple of things. I'm just about to head off to do a cooking class with Arabella, which I am so excited about. We're going to be making, I'm actually gonna put you down so I can talk to you. One second. I'm a bit sick as well. That's why my voice sounds a bit weird. How cute's my outfit too? This is my cooking outfit shoes these jeans are from plt i got arabella a cooking class for her birthday so we're going to be making croissants chocolate eclairs and all that fun stuff which i'm very excited for so i'm going to take you guys along with me for that and i've just got a normal work week next week i'll whip out the camera throughout the week when i remember and just kind of just show you little bits and bobs throughout my week and then on Thursday and Friday, I'm taking Verity away for her birthday. Her birthday is on Monday. We had her birthday dinner yesterday night, which was absolutely amazing. We went to Chow Pappy in Brisbane at Portside Wharf, which was lovely. But I got her two nights in Byron. So we're going to go to Byron, hang out. Hopefully it's really good weather so we can go to the beach. So yeah, I'll bring you guys along for that. And yeah, just I thought that I would just start a weekly vlog today, take you guys along throughout my week and just whip out the camera when I feel like showing you guys anything. Like I said, it's just going to be a really messy, sporadic and all over the place vlog because I'd rather like I said, put out content for you guys than nothing at all. Anyway, I'm running late. I've been to the gym this morning, done my cardio, and now I'm about to get a coffee before we start cooking. So I will see you guys when I am at the cooking class. I'm so excited! Yay. Are you excited? Yes, I am. Yay. We're going to making croissants. Croissants and chocolate yeah, eclairs. eclairs. Eclair. Yeah. Dude, how funny. I was literally this close to getting my black clip to wear my hair like that. Stop. I well, felt I that thought was cooking vibes. Away. Yeah, it's cooking vibes. Because I was going to do I that. I thought it. maybe I've got it in my bag. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I was going to do that. Um, the cooking vibe hair stuff. I'm so excited, dude. I've been excited for this for Yeah, you got for it weeks. for yourself. I got and it for like, myself. It's your birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows it's just for yeah, you. Yeah, it's for me. <laughs> Because isn't it funny that I booked it the weekend after my show? <laughs> what a coincidence. Hmm. All right, we're going to get a coffee this place. Have you had coffee here before? Yeah. So and the scrambled eggs are Lit. so good. The whole bakery is amazing. So we're going to have coffee at this bakery that's just downstairs from where we're doing the cooking oh, class. But I'm pretty sure the people that make these pastries are the ones that yeah. are like teaching yeah, us. That's what it is. Yeah. All right. Learning from the best. Learning from the best <laughs> in the biz. Oh my, oh my, oh my. All right, so we've got our coffees, black coffee. What is, what's your coffee order? A little almond latte. Almond latte. Okay guys, so we're getting a little bit competitive now. So, and it's gonna be fair. Yeah, you have to be fair. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna be fair. fair. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just very competitive, but the, competition that we're doing to make things a little bit more fun is whoever makes the best overall pastries. Yeah. Just taste, everything. Taste, presentation, presentation, the full package. The full, the full package. So whoever makes the best desserts 
the other person is going to buy them yochi. I don't know if you guys know what yochi is. It's like a, it's a frozen yogurt. Frozen yogurt. We haven't been, but it looks We haven't way. been, but yeah, we'll just shout the other person who's uh, dessert. So You'll stay be doing tuned. like a one kilo one. And we'll be like I'll be putting in, yeah, literally. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to win. <laughs> Guys, it's getting all real now. Put it right in one. Looking good. Yum, it smells amazing. Got Rubsy on the tools. Old Rubsy on the tool tools. Coffee flavor, darling, and chocolate and vanilla, vanilla custard. And then we have our creations, Arabella's and mine. I swear it looks better in person. <laughs> I'm actually quite impressed with those. I'm quite impressed with my little ducks. But yeah. Not too happy with my eclairs, but I'm sure they'll taste better than what they look like. Arabella made an army of eclairs. Finishing touches. Damn. Mine. And then we have, oh, Arabella's. Yeah. Rabsy, you've definitely won. You've won. Guys, I'm in Josh's car. I think this is amazing for vlogging. There's like a little spot where the camera can go. How good. Happy Sunday, guys. Today's Sunday. I'm just on my way to meet up with a couple of girlfriends with the babies and we're going for a nice little walk, probably get a coffee. Didn't do anything really after the cooking with Rabs yesterday. I was just so tired and I was so Swamped with work so I just needed to smash out a whole heap of work and I was just so tired I feel like I have not stopped since my show and I thought that things would die down but they have definitely not died down if anything they're so much busier so I'm just feeling really run down and I just keep making plans with people and I don't know why I do that and I'm never one to cancel plans. So like I just keep spreading myself way too thin, trying to be social, trying to be a half decent partner, trying to, you know, stay on top of work, trying to stay on top of my own, you know, training and reverse diet and all that type of stuff I'm just fucking exhausted to be honest with you but anyway hopefully that's going to change in a little bit I feel like I'm almost on top of work so I've just got some things to do today and hopefully I can just chill out we're planning on going to the movies this afternoon so hopefully that will still go ahead and I can have some downtime this afternoon before the week ahead but yeah like I said on my way to see my girlfriends one of my girlfriends Ash she has another Italian greyhound but the boys have met her Italian greyhound and they get along well they're not like super tight or anything they are friendly with each other and my other friend has a French bulldog which is very <laughs> Pretty much yin and yang to Italian greyhounds, but they haven't met, so I'll be interested to see how they go with her dog. And then I think we'll just get a coffee. I won't get breakfast or anything with them, and then I think I will pick up 
Josh afterwards will get some brekkie maybe. I'm still so full from all the pastries that I consumed yesterday and I am really wanting to nail my reverse diet so I don't want to be eating unnecessarily when I'm not hungry if that makes sense and I'm going to try and fast until midday just to give my digestion a bit of a break because let me tell I consumed a lot of pastries yesterday so your girl is full but anyway I better go I will chat to you guys I think when Josh and I are at breakfast and I will take you guys along today and show you anything interesting that I do if I do do anything interesting but yeah mwah, chat to you later all right so we're just out having some breakfast and I got this green juice I think there's spirulina kale cucumber and ginger so very healthy which is perfect because I am feeling a little bit sick this week so hopefully this helps and a little chalk peanut butter protein ball so I've just arrived at this place called Tom's confectionery warehouse it is the literally the best place in the world it has everything you can imagine with chocolate sweets American candy pretty much I think it probably has like all candy worldwide it is huge so I will show you guys what it looks like inside I've been wanting to come here since I started prep so I am very excited I'm literally getting everything inside that I want every time I close my eyes I'll show you guys properly when I get home but we went ham so excited all right guys these are all the goodies we got I actually thought we got a little bit more than this but hey probably best we didn't get too much so this one's mine real toffee fudge obsessed with fudge i've had these before the chocolate thins chocolate mint flavor so delicious josh and i've been randomly obsessed with popcorn lately so we just got this honeycomb crunchy popcorn cinnamon toast crunch popcorn really excited to try this one and then we also got a rainbow flavored chocolate as well we got the birthday cake kisses we got these little thingos excited to try these milka chocolate strawberry Oreo, these ones are Josh's, not really a fan of lollies. Then we got this birthday cake, cookie dough bite. And then we got Big Boss, Mustics, love these, but not something I'd usually reach for. Again, this one's Josh's. And I got these like donut things, they look really good. Maybe in the microwave too, yum. Then we just got these caramel bites, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to take these to the movies tonight and have a massive feast good morning guys happy monday hope you all are having an amazing day or night wherever you are i went for my weekly grocery shop this morning i did a whole tiktok on it and i said to myself emily before you put everything away make sure you whip out the camera and show youtube what you got forgot to do that so i'm going to quickly show you guys what I did get. Everything's put away, but I'll just sift through and show you guys what I got for the week. I'm currently waiting for my breakfast. I made a little TikTok video. It looks so delicious. So I will definitely show you guys that. Once it is all cooked, it's just in the oven. It's got about maybe like five minutes to go, but let me show you guys what I got for the week. Like I said to you guys, I'm going away to Byron for a couple of days with Verity, so I don't, I didn't need to get a whole heap of things, but I thought that I would just show you guys what I got for the next couple of days anyway. Okay, so this is what my fridge looks like. We have a whole 
array of different drinks water watermelon i got this today i just cut up a, a little bit of it for my afternoon snack but there's nowhere for it to go josh has only left me this little section here so i've had to just push that in with the waters but i just got some spinach which i used for my breakfast i got some light cream cheese some mushrooms josh and i are having pizzas tomorrow night so i'm using um, mushrooms on top of my pizzas i got some kiwi fruit i got some shallots like i said josh and i are having pizzas tomorrow night i got him this base and then he's just going to have bacon and pepperoni on top on my pizza i'm going to be having prawns i also have some chicken breast for the week as well i'm going to use keep a cleaner pasta sauce for my base to keep cuts lows lows low i also got some chobani yogurt and then i got for my pizza base just these rye wraps you guys if you've followed me on youtube for a while you would know that i use these for my pizza bases really good cows 71 calories per wrap the only thing that i would say about this is they are really flimsy and they do break easily but it doesn't really bother me then i just got a top up of basmati rice this is what my pantry is looking like as well i did a massive tidy up so i'm feeling very accomplished and i hate this bottom one but i mean what do you do with these condiments i think i need to get those i don't know what it's called but it's that thing that like turns around and you put all your condiments on there just because that is just so ugly and then we have my sups on this level right here and then we just have my random cooking stuff for reels down the bottom here so yeah like i said i didn't get too many things this week because i am going away to byron but my breakfast is almost done i'll show you guys what i'm eating oh my gosh delicious so i made a baked spanakopita i did a tiktok reel on this tiktok recipe so stay tuned for that very freaking excited to get into this oh, yum hello you guys i am with the v-ling it has been a couple of days now sorry my sd card ran out of memory but as i was saying it's been a couple of days now i didn't vlog tuesday wednesday it's thursday today because uh, we were just doing work we're literally about to go into a tunnel Disco, disco. And as I said to you guys the other day that I'm just going to vlog when there's anything kind of interesting to report and I'm just going to, like if it's a messy video then it's a messy video, I don't care. But anyway, like I said to you guys, B and I are headed to Byron for her birthday. I am so excited. Reason one why I'm excited because we get to hang out and spend quality time. Reason two, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, the weather is amazing! So, you best believe we are going to be spending so much time in the sun. I've been exfoliating over the last couple of days trying to get this fucking fake tan off my body from my show. It's pretty much all gone, except for like random little patches, but overall I'm pretty much back to my old colour, thank god. So hopefully over the next couple of days I can get some sun and get, some, and get a real tan. I just feel super white. But other than that, just a relaxing couple of days. Just so excited to zen out, chill. I'm doing a little bit of work. Oh my God, my feet, yuck, don't look at my feet. Yeah, we're just gonna chill out, do a little bit of work, but pretty much just spend quality time together and hang out at the beach. So I will be sure to whip out the camera if there is anything exciting to report. The place that we're staying at is so freaking cute. Have you seen a couple of photos? No, I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, it's a surprise. I, oh, I thought that you, you no, knew. I, I swear no I idea. showed you. Okay, well, I'm excited. It's the most beautiful place. It's just outside of Byron, and there's a little like walkway to a private beach, which I'm just oh, so excited for. Fingers crossed, it is like the beach is actually quiet. I'll be sure to show you guys around when we get there. And we're also going to Bang Bangs on Friday night, which I still haven't been to. Have you been yet? No. Oh, I've actually meant to go and you didn't go. Yeah, I couldn't go. So okay. I'm very excited. Well, we are very excited to try Bang Bangs. I've heard nothing but good things. So I am really excited to try. You guys will be coming along with us. But yeah, other than that, I will whip out the camera when there is anything exciting to show you guys. But I'm just going to get into some work on our way. And I will chat to you very soon. Yeah. 
bakery. We're just about to try a caramel slice and it looks absolutely unreal. So you guys are going to see the whole review. I'm pretty confident it's going to be bloody amazing. Oh my God, it's huge. This is a Snickers brownie. You have to try this. On camera, oh my gosh. <gasps> Oh. Oh. My God, look. That is unreal. Dude, you're gonna blow, it's gonna blow your socks off. It's gonna actually blow your socks off. It's all right. Oh my God, are you serious? It's true, it's like really dainty. It's like a healthy brownie. It's got heaps of dates in it, bro. It just tastes like macadamia and dates. Yum. Two out of ten. What do you rate it? A nine out of ten. We have like polar opposite taste buds, by the way. Yeah. So we have just arrived at our little Airbnb, and oh my gosh, it is the cutest thing. So this is a little outdoor area. That's where we're going to be having dinner. We're making dinner tonight, and this is it. Stop so cute nice high ceiling so we have a little kitchen over there a little lounge space i think we would have like breakfast or something there our bed and then this cute little bathroom perfect for v and i all right we're going to get changed into our bikinis and head to the beach all right, so we have just come back from the grocery store and got a couple of things because we are making a lot of our meals at home. So we're making a creamy pot chicken pasta with rice tonight. So excited. I have this recipe on my Instagram. So if you guys are wanting to try it out yourself, make sure you jump on there. We also got some Pepsi Max. Yes, I've already had a couple of sips. I'm obsessed. Then we just got some eggs for tomorrow morning for brekkie, basmati rice, parmesan cheese, spinach, paprika, onion, some tomato paste, watermelon, blueberries, blackberries, and mango. So nice and healthy. All right, guys, I am on cooking duties tonight because it is Lee's birthday. I thought that I would do this for her. So I just have the chicken on there with tomato paste, onion, and I think that's about it. A little bit of olive oil. And now I'm just going to add in thickened cream, paprika. I'm also going to add in some spinach, bolted spinach. I've been obsessed with spinach lately and some basmati rice. So stay tuned for the finished product. Dinner is served. It doesn't look like much. Not gonna lie, I did put in a lot of paprika. Oopsies, but lucky we both like warm. Was it warm or hot? Hot. Hot foods, very, very low calories. And I also added in some spinach, like I said beforehand, just to give it a little bit more volume. But let's get into this. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. So we have just gotten up. Well, we actually haven't just gotten up. That was a complete lie. I got up at 4 a.m. this morning because I needed to do some work. I also had to do some of my course. I am just doing a annual nutrition course i'm an accredited sports nutrition specialist basically i have to do this course every year to stay accredited so i just did that and then now it's about seven o'clock we are about to go get a coffee go for a walk and get in our steps it is such a beautiful day here in byron so i am so excited to get out on the beach and just chill out but yeah i'll take you guys along with me for the day i am just wearing clouded this beautiful jumper how cute is the color it is so incredibly warm too because it is still quite cool in the mornings here in byron and then i am just wearing muscle nation i'll actually take off my jumper and show you guys and then this is what i'm wearing underneath the jumper just a muscle nation fit i'll actually put you down so you can see a little bit better sorry guys i'm really low love this color really nice simple bra and yeah let's go get coffee all right we have our coffee i actually don't mind it pretty good 
give it a solid eight out of ten. Oh really? I don't mind it. I just don't like the cup, like the dome. No, not it. All right, let's go for our walk. <sighs> Hello, you guys. It's currently six twenty at night. Verity and I are exhausted. We may or may not have got a heat stroke today. We we're on the beach from, what time did we get out? 10.30. 10.30 and we left at 1.30. So we were there for quite some time. We're a little bit burnt. A little bit. But it was such a beautiful day. So definitely cannot complain. Definitely cannot complain. No, that's right. Definitely, right. definitely can't complain. For the rest of the day, we just did some work. What else did we do? Just I chill out. We had a, a nice little half an hour nap. And that's about it, really. And now we are just waiting to go to Bang Bangs, which we have oh, been dying to try and go to. We are ravenous. We are so hungry. So I'm really hoping that it is going to be everything that we have hoped and dreamed for because we have been scrolling through the Instagram multiple times over the last 48 hours. Don't worry, we will be taking you guys with us and we will show you what the food looks like. But we're just going to go super casual. I was going to wear makeup tonight because i was meant to take content today but that just didn't end up happening the lighting was off and i knew i wouldn't have liked the the stuff that i took so i just didn't bother and just smashed out with some computer work which i'm really happy i did i'm actually glad that i did that instead because it's josh's birthday tomorrow and i know this weekend's going to be really busy for me and i would rather have got my computer work done and not be stressed so yeah I'm just going to, I'm literally just going to wear what I wore yesterday purely for the fact that I don't want to have heaps of stuff to wash when I get home. But yeah, I'm going to get changed and then we're going to head to dinner. Alright guys, sorry if you can't hear me, but we have the crab, what are they called? The rolls. Like, crab rolls. And then we have the chicken right here. So now we have pork belly here with the Massaman beef curry with some jasmine rice. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. So we have just checked out of our Airbnb and we are on our way back to, well I'm on my way back to Brisbane, V is on her way to the Gold Coast, we're in the same car but we dropped her car off on the Gold Coast so we just so we could take one car, it just didn't make sense to be taking two cars and then I have to race around for Josh's birthday, it's his birthday today so I have to get a cake, I have to pick up the cake, take it to the restaurant, I have to get a few bits and bobs for his birthday, I'm just going to do a lot of running around today, but I just thought while I've got time and I don't have reception on my phone to do work, I thought that I would jump on here and give you guys a little bit of a prep update because I said that I was going to do that at the start of the week and I have not done that yet, so I thought whilst I've got time I would jump on here and chat to you guys, so as you guys would have seen in my previous videos, I got my pro card, I came first, which is so exciting and I'm still just so over the moon but plan of attack going forward is to a really focus on getting my digestion back on track because in the back end of prep it was an absolute shit show I was very irregular I still am I'm a lot better now that I'm consuming more food but it's still not where it used to be so really just focusing on getting on top of my digestion and second of all, really focusing on growing. So whilst I've got my pro card and whilst that is absolutely amazing, I do not want to jump on the pro stage just because I've turned pro and because I can. I am a very competitive person, so I don't want to jump on the stage without knowing that I will be competitive up there. I want to make sure that I have a competitive package so when I do jump on the stage, I am at the top, if that makes sense. So first port of call is to grow in particular my lower body but I pretty much just have to grow all over I just have to grow more size so I'm going to spend a decent amount of time in a growth phase really focusing on building my calories up as high as I can maintaining around the 60 kilo mark and going in a conservative growth phase to grow as much lean muscle as I can between shows and whenever my next show may be I do not know when I'm going to be competing next it may be worlds next year in August but I'm not entirely sure it honestly just depends on how I am looking visually and if my coaches think that I'm going to be competitive because 
because like I said, I don't just want to go through an entire prep just to get on the pro stage if I'm not going to be competitive and I want my pro debut to be dangerous. So that is the plan. No idea when I'm competing next, but my first and foremost priority is to get on top of my digestion and then second of all, build calories up as high as I can, get into a growth phase and grow, 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 grow. And then when I'm feeling like I have grown a decent amount of lean muscle that is when I will select my show but yeah no shows in sight potentially end of next year if not more than happy to have next year off completely and have my pro debut at the start of next year in Miami I might I definitely want to do an international show so maybe in Miami or London who knows but I think I do want my pro debut to be overseas I've never competed overseas and that is just so exciting to me so yeah that is the game plan I'm going to get into some work hopefully there's reception now I will chat to you guys later when I'm picking up the cake and running around like a mad woman getting ready for Josh's birthday this weekend Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I completely forgot to vlog yesterday. It was chaos and I kind of just wanted to be present for Joshy's birthday. We went to SK last night, it was really good. We went to SK last night, which was amazing. Food was beautiful, the cake was stunning. I don't even think I showed you guys the cake. I'm the worst vlogger in the world. I was just running around as you guys saw like a mad woman yesterday morning and I just needed to get that cake to the restaurant and then the rest of the day was just crazy so I'm sorry about that but now we are up and at him I made Josh some breakfast for his birthday I just had I'm just gonna hold this here I made him some Vegemite on toast with eggs which he's been obsessing over for the last how long like two months uh, probably not two months but a bit now yeah a while. I don't know why I think it's just the salt because Vegemite is salty. It might be being a kid too, but it's like no. I love Vegemite on toast. I never like crave it or reach for it, but when I have it, it's fucking awesome. And now we are just heading out for the day. I have a few things planned, a little a little itinerary. And yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. Whip out the camera when there's anything exciting to report. I've got the boys out the back being good little angels. I don't know if you can see Ollie, sorry, but there's Astro right there. And yeah. I will chat you guys later. So we are just at the markets, Milton Markets, and it is so freaking busy. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. So we went past this cookie place and there was absolutely no way that I could not get two cookies for Josh and I to share. So we got this birthday cake one, of course, and then we just got a Jersey Caramel one. Wow, so excited to get into this. All right, guys, so we went to the markets, as you saw, which was amazing. First time I had actually been to the Milton Markets, and I loved it. It's probably my favorite market in Brisbane. I will definitely be back. I think I'm going to be making it like a Sunday ritual. It was just such a cool vibe. Everyone was so lovely there. The produce was amazing, and all of like the little stores were really cute as well. But I dropped Josh off home and then I did a grocery shop. So I will show you guys what I got. Pretty big shop. But I'm doing a lot of cooking this week for some TikTok reels. So that is why. But I just got some bacon, uh, some lean beef mints, blueberries, strawberries, some veg here. We're making tacos this week. Very excited about that. Banana, dates, some Chobani fits. Yo Pro vanilla flavor because I am doing some cooking so I'm meaning to use a whole heap of this. I got these whole food balls. I'm filming a TikTok educational video on this type of stuff so stay tuned for that. Lotus Biscoff Bickies because I'm making Biscoff cheesecake. Egg whites. These aren't mine but I got Josh these Primo Stackers mild salami cheddar cheese and crackers. Cobb's popcorn lightly salted lightly sweet. Love these. I got these Harvest Snaps I know you guys love these. Heaps of people do. I'm also filming a TikTok on this as well, so stay tuned. Top up of basmati rice, these Wicked Sister rice puddings, no shoe chalk baking chips, light Philadelphia cream cheese, spinach, and lettuce. So yeah, that is my grocery shop for the week.
to finish off his birthday. KFC. Watching the sunset at Kangaroo Point. Honestly, I couldn't think of anything better to do on a Sunday afternoon. Hello, you guys. It has been a hot minute. I think it's been just over a week since I've jumped on my camera and had a little chat with you guys. So I literally had to look at the clips to see what I filmed last. So as you guys would have seen, it was Josh and I sitting up at Kangaroo Point having KFC. Oh my God, was it good. I had been craving KFC since I freaking started prep and it hit the spot. It was absolutely unreal. And then just a week work of chaos. But that is all for me. I'm, I think I'm going to close off this vlog. It's going to be a long one. I'm pretty sure it went over longer than a week. I think I just kept picking up the, the camera because I did have so much stuff to kind of show you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry if it's a little bit all over the place. But like I said to you guys, I would rather vlog than not at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.